it's not a simple piece of machinery. You know, there's there's a lot that goes into it, a lot of long nights that these crewmen experience because, you know, making sure this vehicle is ready to fulfill our primary mission of supporting the infantry, be that, you know, ship to shore or shore to inland objectives. So, you know, in order to understand everything that goes into it, there's no better way than to get face to face and start seeing the, the daily grind and what it takes to actually keep this vehicle combat ready. Michael Raganis, um, first lieutenant, platoon commander, Bravo Company, first platoon, part of third tracks. Beginning to build that relationship and that communication with our Japanese counterparts, explaining and working hand in hand with them to explain in more detail you know, what does it take to check and service this vehicle prior to stepping off on an operation to make sure that it's going to operate effectively and safely. The Marine Corps is an amphibious organization. That is, you know, our our claim to fame. It's you know, being able to go ship to shore, inland, go over all kinds of terrain, carry cargo, etc. It's a good opportunity to kind of get face to face and start working with our counterparts to understand how will we face these challenges as they rise in the future.